So thanks very much. Um, and uh, what I'll be presenting today is actually a little bit different than, than the others in that we have just started our centers. So the technology is what is coming in terms of, and that's why I've actually uh, labeled it opportunities. So you'll have to bear, bear with us in that. Um, we do have, okay, advance, there we go. We do have uh, exciting opportunities uh, to tell you about though, in terms of two centers that were just recently funded. And in fact, our agreements are in place and we started both of them in uh, September of this year. The first one is called BioVantage, and this in fact is an Alberta uh, Ingenuity Centre. And it was funded by AIF as well as several other industry partners through a competitive process with Alberta Ingenuity. And the main focus of this centre is actually uh, to provide funding and support for R&D projects towards BME related technology development and pre-commercialization activities. And so I will be spending part of this talk to share with you uh, how various industry partners and stakeholders can engage with us in that process. The second one is actually the Bose Biomaterials and Tissue Engineering Technology Development Centre. And we also were able to get the agreements um, finalized uh, in September 2009. And this was funded jointly through Western Economic Diversification, uh, AET, Bose, U of C, and some other partners. And this centre has a slightly different focus. It's technology uh, development projects that are directed more specifically in the areas of biomaterials and tissue engineering, as well as uh, to do contract services with some very directed infrastructure. So let's look at the BioVantage first of all, so you can get a flavour of what our objectives are there. The focus is to develop technologies that will enhance the provision of healthcare treatment. So that's pretty broad. How are we going to do that? We'll actually get these products and services developed through partnership with industry, and they'll be commercialized to deliver these uh, discoveries to society. The idea here being is that researchers in university are funded basically to do fundamental research, and in doing that, we often develop widgets and ideas, and these are often left on the shelf. And then we have to go to the next project and our next grant. And there's often not the funding available to take these ideas that we've generated, develop them into technologies, and get them out into the market. So this center was funded with the idea that we will evaluate the science and the innovation in these, but at the same time, do a business evaluation, make sure that there is in fact a market pull, and for those that actually make the grade, we will work through a process, drive them forward, fund them with what they need, and take them to the point of pre-commercialization that they're ready to hand off to industry. So what are our products going to look like? In the first phase, they'll essentially be products that um, technology to the medical devices to provide patient-specific early diagnosis with repeated safe assessment of chronic conditions and ongoing monitoring of treatments. Our technologies in the first phase will focus on technologies to guide and evaluate treatments related to neurological, cardiovascular, musculoskeletal, and metastatic diseases. As we grow and get established and have our early successes, then we'll branch out these technology uh, platforms to address additional medical conditions and requirements. In terms of knowledge, we'll provide a flexible and nimble platform to create new knowledge and translate that into new products and services into a broad range of health and monitoring applications. So you're all familiar with this sort of spectrum of idea generation, concept development of the product, and then taking it out to commercial um, delivery. Just so that it's clear about where we've positioned ourselves, we're involved in the idea generation, investigation, and feasibility of that concept, 
development of the technology to the point that we stop here in terms of pre-commercialization. So we're going to focus on this development of pre-commercialization. And how do we do that? It's by getting industry involved in the stakeholder engagement at the idea generation and all the way along to this point here so that we're ready to hand it off in terms of making a decision to license, to start a new company, to partner and um, uh, give that, uh, sell that ideas and know that product to uh, local companies or to partner with them to actually start up a new company. We do have the R&D process and that is where we can inject funding into that process to work with companies. In fact, if we've developed ideas in this part where we can work with you in this phase. So what are our core functions and services? Primarily, it's research and technology innovation in these BME-related service projects with our industry as well as our clinical partners. And again, a lot of that idea generation is coming from our partners in the clinic that we work with on a daily basis. We also have contract fee-for-service activities. And importantly, we understand that you are lacking in highly trained personnel that can work in your companies, be it the entrepreneurs, be it the uh, trainees with specific skills. And so in fact, as part of our program, we'll be training those HQP in clinical entrepreneurial activities as well as technology. The other role that BioVantage will play is to act as a hub for BME-related uh, product and service industry academics for health providers and health policy stakeholders to allow you to interact as a platform to enable acceleration of the pipeline of BME products from the idea out to the commercialization of the end product. So to give you an idea of where we're going to focus initially on our technology, we've got four main themes and these will be focused in multimodal imaging technologies interoperative imaging technologies, tissue characterization, and minimally invasive biosensors. Just for timing today, I'm going to give you examples from these three. Uh, we will hear, I think, I know Colin Dalton's going to talk about one area that we're re related to. Um, we're involved in terms of minimally invasive biosensors in the neuro area, as well as some work with stents and flow chambers in pharmaceutical and cardiovascular areas. I'm going to talk, in our original um, proposal, we had 13 or 14 projects that we proposed. All of these are going through now the stage of being reviewed in our R&D process, again, for scientific merit and for business and um, 